Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'd like to encourage you to subscribe below, please, and then my videos will show up in your YouTube feed. Um, please um, feel free to go to my website. These pages are all posted there. I'm doing an album share right now, and it's a First Communion, but there's also, it's all family portraits. So, um, You'll get some ideas. So a lot of these pages would be nice for wedding pages or family portraits, what, whatever. Um, it, they're just um, pretty. Lots of them are pretty. So um, go to my website if you like these pages. You can there's design space links for all of these pages there. So I'm going to start now. This uh, is my granddaughter's First Communion. So, um, that's, this is a lace doily image from Cricut Access. I think it's called Vintage Wedding, that, car that cartridge. And this border matches it. There's the other half of the doily and the border, again, I repeat it on both sides. So, um, this is on a wood grain because there's so much the wooden stairs are the background to these photos. And because it was her first communion, and I did a church and a cross here. And did wood frames too. Kept it pretty much a wood, a wood theme on this page. But it's, um, be beautiful for a church, for a wedding too. A good, good rustic looking wedding page for a country wedding. All right. So this is my granddaughter. Um, she was very embarrassed to be posing at first because we were. She doesn't like to get any attention. So, um, but she got into it after a little while. She looked in the mirror and had never seen herself look so pretty in this as she did with her hair all curled and in this fussy dress. And so she she did start enjoying it after that. Um, anyway, so, so cute. You're in my dreams. I, she's just precious. <laughs> so I love this paper. I, I like to do a variety of colors uh, in my albums. I, I really do like to mix it up a lot. So this is um, peach and purple paper. So I, I went with like the color of her skin and the rug behind her in the wood. This was the earth tones. And then I found this pretty paper that had the purple and peach. So I went with that. I uh, framed all the photos on this page. I cut this one out. It's the background and tucked the photo underneath that. I added a, I put a frame in the background here to fill in the space, added a border here, um, just cut out of the paper. This I fussy cut out of the paper that coordinated with it. Um, I fussy cut this off of a stripe in, in some paper. And this I cut out and put it over top. It's a different frame. Actually, it might be the one that fits on top of this one. And I just, instead of putting it straight, I angled it over the photo. Um, I, it's the same sheet of paper um, like this, you can see. So I just turned it like this so that the, the two corners would have, um, the diagonal corners would be coordinating. So that's um, this paper, the white background. It was one sheet. I cut it on a diagonal and spread it out over these. That's what it was. Okay, so this is, um, because of the lace in my daughter-in-law's dress, I really liked this paper because it's lace like her dress. So that's why I chose this to go with it um, to, for this page. And then I just love the flower like I love this color combination and I have done this image before it takes quite a while but it is so beautiful it is worth it um, 
a very nice image for a floral border. And then I did coordinating flowers here and here and added a family title. Now these are um, scallops, one, two, three different sizes, one, two, three. Um, there are scallops in Kiwi Lane too. I used to keep my Kiwi Lane, but in Design Space, there's lots of them. You can do what you want. I didn't frame these photos because there wasn't room on the page. I wanted the pretty stuff. So there's another one. Now this is along that same color scheme because of the color of the rug that she was sitting on. I asked my granddaughter to sit on the floor and I spread her big fluffy dress out all around her in a circle and my husband got over her head and we had her look up and he got a perfect circle. Okay, so this is a book background in um, Design Space in the Cartridge Elegant ed Edges. It is full of frames. So this background is a cutout that is a coordinate with this frame. And there is a coordinating border, but I used a different one from that same cartridge. And I used it here at the top and on the bottom here. I used a border with this paper because it coordinates. I wanted it on both sides. And then I just added some two layers of butterflies from my Martha Stewart butterfly uh, punch. That was easy enough. I did do some glitter on them. You can't know, you, you won't be able to notice that. And I used a, a different frame for this photo here. So um, I think this would be pretty for fall, Thanksgiving, family portraits, even a wedding. You just change the colors. It's a, I think it's a beautiful page. And here's another beautiful page. I think this would be a lovely wedding page as well. Um, so this is um, a huge pattern paper that I just love so much. I cut it into Kiwi Lane borders uh, and I didn't want to cover it with another border. So there was this border was the coordinate to it on another sheet of paper in the same pad. So I used it all along the top. I then found these branches that looked kind of like this. I think that looks like Stephanotis. <clears throat> anyway, I found these pretty branches and then I added these lovely little birds. There's another branch with a little yellow bird on it too. I just added the yellow to pop it. Um, did pretty frames for all these photos and added some little flowers that I fussy cut um, on top. So um, I did emboss these. I'll show you this, this one because it's bigger. Maybe it'll show. So I embossed the frame, the, the background of the frame. It um, gives the whole page a, more depth. I lifted all these branches on um, foam lifters. Love that page. It's the paper. I'm just always in love with the paper. <clears throat> so here we have um, first communion title and then I did the the bread and wine from that was in a church cartridge as well so <clears throat> this paper coordinates uh, and it's glitter and then I cut this out it was a die I have on the same paper and inked the edges and just made one two three layer huge flowers and I cut it in half and put it on each side of the under the photo, but on top of the frame. And then found a lovely flourish and embellished it with a flower there. I created a little corner here and um, a grouping here, little butterflies, little flowers, pearls, whatnot, same thing around here. And then I added a Julie Nutting doll and um, put her in a white dress like hers. I added all these gems on here. <clears throat> I like doing that on a veil for a bride 
or on a wedding dress, I would have turned it to flourish the way the dress goes. But I think it looks really nice on a wedding dress. So um, I did emboss <clears throat> these frames as well, just for a little extra texture on the page. So, um, <clears throat> and now we have a cute little girl page. Sweet on You is my title. And um, <clears throat> this is a bow bunny pad, I believe, uh, with all candy dishes everywhere and candy themed uh, pad of paper. So I wanted to use that for sure with this album. And um, so these all coordinate and they're all from the same pad. It makes it very easy to coordinate your colors. You know all the pinks will be the same. They'll all be cream instead of some white and some cream. So you you won't make mistakes if you do it that way. It's it's usually pretty good. So this title is Sweet, Sweet as Candy and I love my Kiwi Lane uh, borders there. I did a pretty frame for each of these photos and added a candy shop. I've lifted that and the two the titles. So oh, I added little um, brads of um, lollipops and hearts. <clears throat> now here I have, um, I think I have this one like this. So this paper um, is so beautiful. I just thought I had a slim picture of her here. <clears throat> it could use a, a large print on the pad, on the pad. So I just added a bow to here and a title. And then I used a coordinate on this side and a, a floral print with this floral on here. I cut out a big flower and used it for a background and added another little bow up here and a cross on here because this is the photo of in, in the church. So um, I did add a little bit of a, a frame underneath here for, I like layers and depth, so it's just my thing. <clears throat> that would be good for, a, very pretty for a wedding as well. You could even put a photo in here. An oval would fit nicely in there. <clears throat> okay, my granddaughter has this had this Eiffel Tower theme, Paris theme in her room. And um, she had this pink Eiffel Tower. So that gave me a theme for this page. Anything Eiffel Tower. And um, so I went with the sort of multicolors in her room and that's what this paper and it was all inspired from that these cartoony type flowers came from that idea so we have just lots of Paris around and in a cute frame here and she's just posing so they're cute I just cut these circles out of the papers from here it was a simple page. Okay, this is the family. So, um, this paper um, had vases, flower vases on it, and I loved it. So I used a border from that pad, and I repeated it on this side, and then I did I got the idea to do vases, so I found some vase images. And then I ruffled everything with lace border punch. That's a Martha Stewart, I think. Um, and just edged, that's how, what I used to frame the photos. So um, the borders say, dream, keep growing, love more. You are golden. Just encouragement. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty theme for this page. Loved it. Okay, so on this page, 
it's a single page. I don't do them too often, but only had one picture of her with the dog, so. Um, because she's in her denim jacket, I just, I, I used a navy background paper, and then I found this coordinate, which I love. So I wanted to keep it kind of a bit rustic because of the denim look. So I used a gingham plaid here, a gingham check. And then I used the fence punch um, along both sides of it to make a frame, a big frame for this. I found this image in Design Space. It was in, uh, it's, I, that's a Miss Kate Cuttables, I'm sure. Um, a Valentine one or um from one of her cartridges in Cricut Access. And I used my new apple border. Um, and then I used a circle, the new circle punch from Creative Memories. <laughs> I'm, I'm new to, um, well, I had it a long time, a, a long time ago. I've, I've used it from the beginning of time, Creative Memories, but I'm um, now a rep for it. So, um, I've got a lot more of the product now. Um, anyway, I put a title on the top of the photo, used a photo corner punch right there. It's the prettiest one I've ever seen, and I, I use it a lot on the corner of a photo if there's not much up there. And then I, I just created a cluster down here with the banners and the title, Puppy Love, some flowers, and this cute bear. Simple page, but... I really like it. I love how it turned out. And here's another single page. So this is my other granddaughter with the puppy, with their dog. And so this one is a page template from Creative Memories. It's a circle with a bunch of circles on the edge. Like you can use it any different way, any way you want. So I had a five by seven photo, so I put it up in the top left corner. And then I just found this cute puppy image in uh, Cricut Access. It's, um, well, it's not in Access. I paid for this. It's um, a Disney Palace Pup, Palace Pups, or Palace Pets, Whisker Haven, I think it is. So there's a pony and a cat and bunny and a bunch of different animals and I just love them. So I used this image in the corner and this is also a create, this is all creative memories. The paper is uh, the yellow <coughs> balloon paper and then this border I cut in half and used half under the dog and half up the side. This is from embellishments but this is from uh, Cricket Puppy Love. I put a, uh, the title on there. So I had fun doing this. I'd never done a page template before. So this was the first one. Really cute. Love my puppy. <clears throat> All right, so this is um, portraits of my husband and I at <clears throat> the First Communion. So this would make a lovely <clears throat> wedding page. I thought, um, <clears throat> any or portraits, spring, fall, anything. I think it's a lovely page. I fussy cut this out of uh, paper. It was so pretty, a coordinate. I think it was just at the top of the page. So I fussy cut that and used it as a border here and then just <clears throat> centered a, a frame inside this <clears throat> border print. Um, added some flowers and created a cluster over here. I used a die to cut this and added a bird. <clears throat> I just made some borders. I used a um, Creative Memories leaf uh, border on top. Embossed the bottom, the white. And then I used this uh, coordinating pattern for this um, to create this wavy border. They're irregular. And I found a coordinating paper to this to use for a frame here. I use this paper for this frame. So it's all to make both pages work together. And I add a little bird on this side too. 
on top and some gems. I added a few enamel dots on here. <clears throat> so I wanted to do, I thought these were decent photos, good photos of my husband. So <clears throat> I wanted to do um, a masculine page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I decided uh, to do craft paper because it's earth tones and he's wearing black. So when I was going through my craft paper, I thought this was a good background. And then I saw this paper with the wood and I thought, how nice. I'm going to do um, a window for a frame. Like, and then I saw the windows and when I found this window, I was looking for windows and found this window. And it had all these branches in it too. So I thought that was perfect. And then this image was just like this paper. So I used that. And I had a new tree uh, border punch. So I thought I needed some white to pop it. So I, sh I shadowed everything in white. And then I added this. This is from um, the new circle punch from... Creative Memories. I added my hubby title and continued my tree line border across. I have these brads um, that look like cufflinks and my husband always loved to wear cufflinks so I added those onto the frame and this is another one that I added onto this frame. I love this page. I think it is a beautiful masculine page. So I, I did coordinate um, this frame with the border that I, so it was used on both sides. So, um, I do love that page. So, here is, um, this is another, oh, this is a, a page template. On this side, it's all hexagons, and this might be a Lee of France one. <clears throat> I don't, it's not, I don't think it's a Creative Memories one. Um, so, I did this pattern behind, and I needed to do a coordinate. So, when I saw this frame, I just flipped out. It was so beautiful. So, I did it for this photo on this side. And then I did another one to match on this side, but I just did it as an ornament on the page, you know, a, a design, an image on the page. Called it My Girls, because they're my two granddaughters and my daughter-in-law. Um, this paper is the same as this wide border here, and these two. I added some hexagons, as this page was full of hexagons, just to make them coordinate. And that's why I chose this hexagon frame, even though it's a different shape. It's more a uh, diamond, but <clears throat> it loaned itself to the, uh... no, it's a hexagon. Anyway, um, I added gems on um, where the berries were on these images, and I just love these frames. I've been using them a lot lately. <clears throat> Now this is the last <clears throat> page on this album. This is some um, large scallops on the bottom. Some pretty, I love these little frames, um, vines. So I did uh, cut out a few small and I used them for background on this page. Created a coordinating paper. This is all butterflies and flowers. So here's butterflies and bugs that coordinate made a border with that and I used that for a background block in this frame on this side so it's repeated and then this paper I repeated on the mats of these two photos added a bunch of butterflies and um, one with a tail and it, it this page is done it's pretty so if you like any of these pages you can find them in um, everyday life scrapbook number 48 on my website meandmycricket.com and there is a link below you will be able to um, go to my website uh, there and I also describe everything in detail there 
as well. So you can um, also join my Facebook groups and subscribe below, please. Thanks for watching. Happy scrapping.